tail of the tape, John. Look at the height, six three to six foot, but the same reach in this. Charlie Leary's guy that has had more experience. Tom Green is a tough, tough man. Here's Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight here at Bellator 200 from the SSE Arena, Wembley, we now go to the lightweight division scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing the blue corner at six foot three, weighing in 155 and one half pounds. His professional record: 12 victories, two defeats. Fighting out of Brighton, England, presenting Tom Kanehart Green. And across the cage is adversary. Tonight fights out of the red corner. At six foot, weighing in 156 pounds even as a professional. He brings 14 victories, nine defeats with one draw. He fights out of Watford, England. Introducing Charlie, 917 Leary. And the referee in charge of the action, Leon Roberts. Leon Roberts, the third man inside the cage is we are set for a possible three five-minute rounds in the Bellator MMA lightweight division. Charlie Leary in the okay, red gloves. Line, Tom line, Green line. in the blue gloves. The bell and round one. Leary, a 35-year-old training in Watford with Team Crossface. Of course, Watford also gave birth to the Watford Wallop. Undefeated heavyweight Don't champion cage, Anthony Joshua. Bring yes, it's Anthony cage. Joshua, not Johnson. That's an MMA fighter. Uh, as we get started here, John, uh, what do you look for in this matchup? I, I've watched both of these guys out. a lot. Tom Green's a very aggressive fighter. He goes after all kinds of different techniques, likes to land knees on the inside here, likes to clinch, likes to throw wild things. Leary's the more conventional guy. Good job of getting that back to a normal position here, turning him on the fence, but he's going to have a hard time bringing Tom Green down. And we are in the shadows of Wembley Stadium, where last year the consensus 2017 boxing match of the year took place as Anthony Joshua defeated the legendary Vladimir Klitschko in an instant classic and uh, Michael Venom Page took a dip in the boxing pond before returning to Bellator here tonight coming up on the main card against David Rickles as Green looking to keep the pressure on Leary along the fence both guys changing positions back and forth but Tom Green, as he had a problem with that overhook that Leary had on him, it was actually starting to torque his arm and he was trying to get a different position with it. Green coming off a unanimous decision win last November as a jockey for position along the fence. That's the normal thing that I look for from Tom Green. You see the knees coming on the inside. He likes to knee a lot. He'll do it to the thighs. He'll bring them up to the midsection. He feels comfortable in this position against the fence. Current Bellator MMA lightweight champion is Brent Primus. Been a while since we've seen Mr. Primus in the cage as well. Injuries, injuries, injuries take people away. I hate those. Two minutes have elapsed here in the first round, and Leary opening up on Green with those short right uppercuts, up. winding up with another right uppercut that sends Green looking for the takedown. Instead, he eats another right hand and another takedown attempt that is stifled by Charlie Leary. Big shots by Charlie Leary. Now in a good position on the ground with Tom Green. Pass that leg. Don't get all wild. Just take and do the right technical things. It's going to get you where you want to be. Tom Green is 12 and 2. Five knockouts, five submissions. I like that you're seeing Tom Green not close his guard. He's working from a butterfly on one side. He's got the ability to start working for different submissions. You have an ankle lock attempt right here. It's not in a position for him to do it. He's going to have to entwine that leg, and he's taking shots. And Leary dropping the right hand. Those shots are going to they're going to add up. Straight rights and a left from distance by Charlie Leary, who finally extricates himself from the clutches of Tom Green. Smart move from Charlie Leary. Get him back to his feet. He's still rocked from those shots. And Leary again stuffs the takedown attempt by Green. And now they just low unload on each other. And for a moment there, it appeared that Leary was bothered by a shot from Tom Green. Starting to get in a little bit of phone booth fighting here. Everybody was phone booth fight. <laughs> Sorry, it's just one of those nights, isn't it, John? It, it a minute be. and a half left in the first. <laughs> Why not after what we saw at the table? 
Charlie Leary has Green against the fence. And now, in this position, John, as a referee, what are you looking for? What you're looking for is for someone to try to advance your position or have a progression in what they're doing. If you're going to be landing punches, knees, then how hard are you throwing them? If you're trying to move yourself into a better position for a takedown, then that's what we're looking for is that progression. Under a minute left here in round number one. And Leary unloading now on Green, and Green quickly doesn't want any of the striking exchange and tries to get the takedown, but Leary doing a good job of defending him, and I believe that Tom Green is now, well, producing red. <laughs> Under 30 seconds left in the first, and... Both guys have hurt each other in this fight. Oh, spinning, spinning back ball. elbow that missed on the left and the right by Green. Nice shot to the body, too. And a trip take down oh, by back. Leary. Half butterfly hook by Green as we go to the second round here at SSC Arena, Wembley in London, England. Time to Here's your combination. Look at that shot inside. That's what hurt him. Those couple of right hands as they came up, and then he came back with a big uppercut here. That hurts him. You see him starting to travel across the cage. He locks up that ankle lock, but he doesn't do the right thing with his legs to keep Charlie Leary at a position where he can't punch him to the face. He lands more big shots. These are all adding up and all hurting Tom Green. Finally, Charlie Leary gets in a position out of here, but Tom Green ends up coming inside and landing a shot that ends up hurting Charlie Leary. Boom, there it is. You see that little moment? Both guys got hurt. Both guys had times that they were the guys in control of the fight. How do you have it after five minutes on your unofficial scorecard, Big J? I have a 10-9 for Mr. Leary. Larry, 14 and 9, eight knockouts, a Bravo choke, and a triangle choke. He's been stopped twice due to strikes and been submitted three times via arm bars. Gentlemen, second round, you ready to fight? You ready to fight? Bring it up. And the bell in round two, it's Charlie Leary in the red gloves, Tom Green in the blue gloves. And immediately, Leary was looking for the double collar tie or tie plum, but it's Green who pushes Leary back to the fence, and here's where he wants to create some separation and deliver some sort of attack job. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Tom Green is a guy who shorts. likes fighting inside. Leary needs, he's been doing better when he's been in that space of allowing his hands to go right there again. He's allowing his hands to flow. Nice trip take down. Yeah, you right into side go well, Is it no half guard? No, it was. It was. quickly right. moved his hips and got himself back at least to a half guard. You were right. Right here, shoulder pressure is the big thing. If you can control his body because of the cage, he doesn't want to be there. He says, get back to your feet. Larry coming forward, straight right hand, then followed up with the left. There's a liver kick by Green, a front kick by Green, trying to keep Leary off of him, and then Leary backs him back up to the fence. Leary's been successful with that right hand uppercut. He keeps landing it when he's throwing it, but cannot land it when he's having to work on the inside like he is right now in this clinch position. Leary was now, really looking forward, sorry, John, no, to good. fight in, in this arena tonight because it's been a, over a year since he fought in England. And he has a vocal fan base here tonight. Training in Watford has helped prepare him for what is a big fight for him here. You see him taking, using that face crank to lift Tom Green's head and get him out of that position. Really good, solid technique by Leary. Green coming inside with his head down, attacking the body, then misses upstairs with a right and a left, but 
Able to clinch with Leary. Three minutes left in the second round. Tom Green's starting to become a little bit more the aggressor, 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 aggressor in this round compared to what was happening in the last round. Adjustments you would like to see both of these athletes make here as we go into the second half of this fight, John. First thing I'd want to see from Tom Green is get your dang hands up, man. Keep his <laughs> hands down low. That's not good. Leary, I want you to utilize foot movement so you clear the, clear his hands, come up with those good shots that you've been throwing, especially with your right hand. Lead right by Green, but again, Leary just interested in bum rushing him to the fence. And I don't understand why he's doing that because mm. he's getting turned constantly in that position. Stay to the outside, you're landing good shots, and look oh. where his hands are. Man, you have the opportunity to land good shots on a guy who's got his hands down by his waist. Final two minutes of the second round. The crowd beginning to exhort Charlie Leary. Right uppercut, just grazing the beard of Tom Green. Not a lot of technique in this striking exchange, but oh, Leary did just hit him again with a nice left right. Tom Green's got it. He's got energy and he's got movement, but he is oh, wild. And he just got tagged with that right cross by Charlie Leary. And Leary again stuffing the takedown, although he does get backed up to the fence by Green. Is it is it similar, John? Although he does create separation. Created separation, nice framing, and throws the right hand to back him off. A minute 15 left in the round. It's consistent where Green is going, and Leary needs to start utilizing that knowledge and stepping off into that direction to throw that right hand. Ten of Green's victories have come inside the distance. The sprawl by Leary. Nine of his 14 make that ten of his 14 wins inside the distance, and now Leary ground and pound on Tom Green. Less than a minute left in round number two. Good. Don't stop what you're doing. Stay with what you're doing. This can end the fight. Green just trying to turtle now. And Leary unloading right hands to the body. I like how he diversified the attack there. And Green now on his back. Keep your posture. Tom Green needs to start to move to get himself out of this position. Nothing funny about the situation Tom Green finds himself in in this fight with less than 20 seconds left in the second round. Leary stacking Green up, delivering piston-like right hands of referee Leon Roberts right there. Final seconds, can Green make it out of round two? Not doing much to stop what's happening with those. It's over! Charlie Leary, before the end of the round, picks up his 15th career victory. As they tend to Tom Green, and we're going to revisit the action. John, do you agree with the stoppage by Leon Roberts? Yes, I agree with the stoppage because a fighter, once he's in a position, he's on the ground taking shots and not trying to move the position. I have a fighter that is not intelligently defending himself. Watch what's going on here. You see him. He's utilizing that left hand on the leg to control the leg. Now he's opening up with that right hand, and those shots are getting through. You see the hand coming up. But that's a glove protecting the face, but the brain is getting rattled. And it's hand after hand. You see those right hands hitting. Finally, that's enough. There's no movement, and that's why Leon Roberts stopped the fight. 4.58 of the round, just two tick, ticks of the clock away from going to the third. But instead, Tom Green suffers his third setback as a professional, while Charlie Leary wins his first fight in Bellator MMA. Let's go to Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end. Four minutes, 58 seconds into round number two. The winner by TKO Charlie. Nine, one, seven, Leary.